Hi, Michal. Hi. Good evening. Good morning. Um, so, uh, thank you for inviting me again to share a little bit. Uh, it was a tough day. We have a lot of funerals every day. The cemeteries are full with the holes in the ground and beautiful people that are lying there. Um, I do want to say that uh, one of the biggest needs, and I want, I want to ask you to call for an action. Uh, yes, we will overcome. And I have to say that uh, the hardest moment that I have day to day, except for funerals, is the moment that I'm sharing with you because it, it gives me a moment of understanding what really actually happened and how we really, we, uh, we became history in, in the worst way that you can ask for. Uh, you know, if I would have this Zoom call with you right now from the headquarters that I'm in, you would be so proud. You will see young people and elderly, elderly people doing the best in a proud way to, to uh, take care of our communities, to make sure that we keep in touch with one another, give uh, support to one another, and make sure that once everything is over, we can come back and with you guys to rehabilitate our communities. Today, I was in Kibbutz Nir Oz. Kibbutz Nir Oz is one of the communities that had the most casualties. And many, many children were kidnapped and murdered. Cruelty over there in Oz. I know that you see a lot of pictures and you see the cruelty in videos, in, in pictures that you see. But to smell cruelty, it's something that is very hard to experience. The houses are completely burned. It will take us time. Right now, this area is defined as a closed military area. The government of Israel took upon itself to take and accommodate all the communities that were only in the four kilometers along the border. But the closed military area is more than seven kilometers and we need to evacuate all the population. We cannot afford ourselves to have children and young families and even elderly people or adults that are not necessarily needed here. We cannot have anyone here. And as you heard before, Israel is planning to the next step of this, not a military, it's a war for the next stage of this war. We lack funding. We need support to make sure that we can accommodate people outside of this area right now to give them support to heal with each other. That young families will gather their energies together. We have lots of people over there that lost their loved ones, even children that lost friends, friends from school, middle school, elementary school children. They lost teachers, beloved teachers, that lost good friends, parents, and people who don't know where their loved one are right now. We just don't know. And these people, we want them to be there and we want them to stay there, but we're stressed about it. The cost today for only a school is $1 million for each week to ensure that our population is safe over there. We really hope that soon we will be able to come back home. But till then we need to know, and I'm telling you, I know that I can rely on you the day after. But if I'm talking about the Maslow hierarchy, we're talking about the first stage, unfortunately. We were dreaming together about the top of the hierarchy and now I need you for the base of it. We need to ensure that no one is here, no one that is necessary and needed is here, and they are safe somewhere else. Accommodation. This is the basic thing that I need from you right now. Toda.